Rocky War Party again. But they have been all over this event. They destroyed this place last night. They're ready for war. And they're trying to do it again. I don't understand this. Maybe I'm not meant to. No. Nope. Hey, look, you're trying to reason with insane people. It'll never work. I suppose. Referee just better get the and, heck out of there. And they get angry when the chairs get taken away from them. How do you take it? Are you going to take it from them? No. I'm not. Come their opponent, the beer drinking part of the call themselves, Mr. Incredible Scott Story and uh, Venom. The Venom, thank down you. Venom. Sorry, I drew a blank there. I got your back, son. I'm even kind of getting into it. Come on, come on, Tony. Let's dance. Are you dancing, JJ? Don't, don't dance. Okay, dance. Dance it off. Why am I dancing by myself, JJ? I was dancing. These guys, look, they have a very nonchalant attitude going up against the Viking War Party. Oh, well, they're and here to kick ass. Let me explain something. They have that nonchalant attitude because of that man right there, Mr. Incredible. When you have that man on your team, you can beat anybody, even well, the Vikings. Well, you could say the same about Venom. I mean, Correct. He's... Correct. And Scott's story, I mean, he got killed by Alexander Rudolph last night. I mean, they're firing themselves up. They're getting this this crowd into them. Ready for an That was a short history between all six of these, man, but it... Uh... Been violent history. Right, the, the action of the Viking War Party last night against these three men, and vice versa, I suppose you could say, must have left an impression. They asked for this match, both sides did. And here we have it. it. I mean, of course, the Vikings want to fight. They already showed that earlier. Using a, uh, a classic battalion technique there with the shield, trying to drive the enemy back. Did you say Italian? Battalion. Battalion. Oh, I. Battalion. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't know why they see the referee as an enemy. They see everybody as an enemy. Uh, they see everybody so. as a victim, a future victim, excuse me. A soon to be victim. And here we go, it's a pure six brawl. <laughs> Incredible and Venom thrown to the outside and now he scoring. This match. this match hasn't officially started yet. There, there it is, now we're underway, officially. Referee had to get some order, some semblance of order before he rang the bell. Oh, Mr. Rocco with a big Mr. white ball. And it didn't do anything to the man. It's an accumulative thing, though. Eventually, you hit him enough times, it's going to But he build up. already been hit a lot tonight. Oh. My goodness. Oh! This is possibly getting out of hand again, like you saw last night. I hope for our sake not. The little Viking, I think, went into the table there. Yep, it was the little Viking. They do call him the littlest Viking, don't they? Yes, they do. He's tiny, but vicious. He reminds He's me like of a the, bulldog. Uh, he reminds me of the, the tribe's chosen fighter in uh, Ace Ventura 2. What the hell are you talking about? You know, the scene where... Ace I never, Ventura, I don't watch stupid right. movies. It's a fantastic movie. You're an idiot. You're the only one here who doesn't like it, JJ. Be in mind, Viking War Party already had action tonight against Guns of Beer earlier early this evening. Yep, the little Viking didn't, though. And they, no, not officially, no. Now, stories. Stories in there with these three men, and that's... I mean, he's got to look right. around and be scared. He's fighting back. And now Venom's got the Wyatt out of the outside. Incredible. And Incredible's got Rudolph on the outside it, now. It seems like you cannot keep these men in the ring. Oh, Alex Rudolph's head bounced off the, the ring post. post. I can't exactly now see what Frank Wyatt's in the doing. Corner here. But it ain't pretty. We got some semblance of order here for these six men. Fast action to send the ring. Scott Story with a nice reversal. Oh, big side slam on the little Viking. Well, that's his real name, JJ. 
So just call him the littlest Viking. The littlest Viking. Good enough. Two count. He's the craziest of the three, and that shouldn't surprise you. If you get to hang out with those two big, lumbering, insane men, you gotta be crazy. If you're gonna be the craziest, ah, uh, ooh, big kick. And now it goes to Rudolph, who hurt Story last night. And now it's Venom, and you gotta wonder how his knee is after last night. Limping a little bit. You can see he's graving the knee a little bit, definitely affected him. Like Rudolph's got Rudolph. a bit of a personal vendetta against Mitchell Incredible here. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I, I think he's got a personal vendetta against everyone. Walking up, taking Venom down. Rudolph spinning on the fans. Sort of seems like Incredible is the uh, the ringleader of this group now. He's the one firing Venom up, telling him not to let that. He power is a natural born leader, JJ. If you say so. I think it's just because they both have shiny pants, but they get along so well. You think, you think that's it? Probably not. I'm glad you retracted that statement, because that was a bit silly. That, that song had me silly. Turned down for what? Oh, uh, Rudolph, Ooh. big punch to the midsection in the corner. Venom's almost smiling. Is he enjoying this? I think he enjoys hurting people, yeah. Venom, I mean. Well, he, it's true too. That is, yeah, you're right. That is true. Still favoring that knee, getting the crowd behind him. The little Spike, he doesn't like it. I don't think it's going to affect Rudolph. He doesn't care. Rudolph driving him back to the corner, swinging wildly in midfield. Oh, Venom connecting with right, right, right. Three rights in a row. Going for a fourth. Rudolph fighting back. One, two, three. Combination of elbows and forearms. Vicious. It's really the oh! only adjective there is, and he just punched him dead in the face. That one went to the throat and shoulder area. Chop to the back, kick to the shoulder there, taking him down. Big splash in the center of the ring. One, two, not quite three count. And here comes Frank Wyatt. He is a big, in his buddy, incredible. powerful man. Two big men going after each other here. Here he comes. He's the. Wyatt missing. Incredible Ooh. looking underneath, going for a shoulder. You're not going to move him that way. You're not going to move him that way. That's what Frank's telling him. It ain't going to work. He's asking him to do it again. Try it again. And again, you're not going to move go. him. It's the immovable force versus the immovable object. I think I screwed that up. The unstoppable force against the immovable object. That's what I said. Big punch, exchanging, exchanging balls. We saw something similar to this last night. Almost let me thrive on it. Big drop kick from Incredible, oh. knocking Frank White to the corner. Nips up, got Frank White in the corner now. Got momentum on his side. Oh, Ooh, big blow. Is he going for the black hammer? That's usually the setup. Yep. He calls the, set, the setup. Right. Too early for Wyatt. Frank, no, Frank Wyatt knows what's happening here. Thumb to the eye. Tagging in the little Viking. Wisely getting him right in the eye. The littlest Viking is ready for a fight. Is he growling? It's a war cry. Like he's barking or. Not really phasing Mr. Incredible. I don't, I don't think that's a man you want to piss off or get worked up. Blow for blow thus far. I wouldn't call I wouldn't Tagging call it in, call it a lightweight. lightweight fight, he said. I don't I I wouldn't call it that. But here we go, Scott Story. The hometown kid, they love him here. No. Threatening the punch, going for the next section. Bit of a Trojan horse there. A little switcheroo, if you will. Why are you talking about Trojans? Horses, JJ. Horses. Corner reversal. Whipping the little spike into the corner. Scott Story going for a big splash. Getting oh, tossed over the top. Over. Landed on his feet. feet. Big kick to the face. Jumping. High oh. five maneuver. I don't think you could hit him in the head. Is that what the I'm not sure what that was, but it seemed like it hurt Story more, big leg drop. I think he barely glanced him on the side of the head. 
And now you got Alexander Rudolph. Wise tag from the Little Viking to Alexander Rudolph, taking a big kick to the middle of the ring there. That is a scary man. He's even threatening the ref now. Fans getting Rudolph's attention. Threatening the lives of the fans. We've seen this before. Threatening the fans with murder. Angry in the little one. Here comes Frank Wyatt. Now Back this is a size mismatch. Yes, it is. I think I saw him eat a meal bigger than Scott's story earlier today. I I heard the story, and it, apparently it was bloody and disgusting. Scott's story was credit fighting back. Not very effectively, though. Incredible trying to get this crowd behind him. Fans on story side here. Big scoop slam for the big man. They've, they've now got him. Oh, Lewis Viking taking himself in. Frank Wyatt, none too pleased. I think he took, Jake, the Littlest Viking took exception to Incredible calling him light. I Wait. think the Littlest Viking thinks he's bigger than he is, doing that walk across the chest deal. Is he going to hurt his, his partner? Using like, what the is this? Way. That, that's oddly intelligent from these people. I was going to say, they understand <laughs> physics? <laughs> they understand hate. You know what hurt. it is? You know what it is? They... They know how to hurt people, and they turn it into a violent art form. Oh my God! Using the same game. Oh, of numbers. oh, oh my, my God! That's, no. that's over 500 pounds. You can rupture a diaphragm doing that. The cyphoid process. Two count. Somehow not enough to keep story down. All instinct to kick out of that. I mean, pure survival instinct, JJ. I wonder if he has a broken rib. Gut wrench suplex. Oh my. God. With authority. You know, the, the gut wrench, usually you just drop him, but he threw him. There's that size mismatch you spoke of. You know what's a Why did he just headbutt? I'm not. His tag partner. Sure. Again, trying to understand the insanity is just not worth it. Oh, my God. A very effective teamwork from the Viking War Party. Fed him into those knees. Posing one, two. One. One count, you gotta, a lackadaisical pin like that was easy for Story to kick out of, even with how badly he's been beaten. He's still got a, oh, he's a fight in him I, again. I would say the littlest one, the littlest Vikings got the little man syndrome, but he backed it up pretty well. He's crazy. He wants to hurt you. This crowd getting behind Story, trying to rally into his feet. Big head butt from the big man on the ground. Story badly needs to make a tag. Look at the Vikings and their team were in and out, quick tags, take a breather, get back in the ring, and do more violence on Scott Story. There is something to be said about the advantage of working together all the time, as opposed to a haberdash slap together tag team such as Beer Drinking Party. Correct. Strategy. They're I mean, all great in their own right. They, they don't work together, especially never, in this environment. Right, they've never teamed together. They've never. They've never had to overcome adversity together. The Vikings are showing you what traveling the world together can do for cohesiveness. Dropping Scott Story from, uh, what is our shoot off? Up 6 3. A long way to fall. Yes, it is. You say he's close to about 6 5. Boom! Oh! Little Viking doing a. Uh, Every. Uh, Calling for the, the top end here. rope to give him a little more. Uh, velocity on the spin, and now again, another quick tag. Gus Story needs to get out of here. He is in bad shape. Venom reaches for the tag, but Story is not even aware of it. Oh, oh, jawbreaker. This is Story's chance to get out of here. Rudolph now, Rudolph though. tagging in. Wisely, did you notice? Big. He tagged himself in. Big answer, Gary the head. Scott look Story's keeping the fight. And look, the Vikings keep falling back into their corner. And this is Story shot now. This is story shot now. Tag it. Tag it. Tag it. Tag it. Venom. Venom's in. Little Viking. Take it down with the goal line. And another. And another. Now the Littlest Viking's the one cut off. He's Can't really get to his team. You know he wants to tag it wider. Oh, the big slam from Venom. Tag it becomes Mr. Incredible. incredible. You see. Big slam from Venom. Trying to keep control, putting into a submission maneuver. 
They must. Oh, for guys Locked who have never tagged together, wow. they're putting together some nice double team moves. They're obviously learning from what they're oh. watching. Violent leg drop. Big drop kick, a lot of hype. One, Just one, one count. Down. That was a lot of hype for a big man. He was. Tag Scott Story and Scott Story going on the top rope. Oh. The Vikings have decided that they're oh. going to get violent. Taking they decided down. that they're just going to do whatever they want and make the referee. They're working as a very effective unit, JJ. The referee's got to get some semblance of He's doing his best, but you blame him for being scared oh. to get in there? Oh, my God. What are they setting him no, up for? No, no, no. They're no, no. going to suplex him in the head. Oh, no. Lilith's Vikings taking Scott Story for a ride. One, two. Venom, Venom there to save the day. Venom broke it up wisely and now a kick. Kick to the midsection for his efforts. I'm not even sure who the legal oh, men are in this face. match. Two of the three of the beer drinking party are on the ground. They're out for the count. Setting up for a, we've seen this before, a big double foot stomp. Oh, oh my. Oh. I had those feet hit Venom right in the head. That bends you in ways you are not supposed to bend. The story again, all by himself, and it, they're, they're calling, circling him like they're, they're preparing sharks. for the sacrifice. Story's fighting, fighting back, back now, though. There's so much heart in this kid. I mean, oh, using the motion against them. Story drop kick to the big man. Frank White, why is he getting out of the way? I think they're starting to feel pain. They might. They're. Story now. Catching the littlest Viking. Into a modified DDT there, but I think he got more into his ribs and side than the mat. Story jumping over. Big fly Get out of the Viking. The top rope. Taking down two. What's the it's a little it's like Fans calling for the never ending story. My God. What on earth is he planning now? You no, know it's nothing smart. Oh, oh my! Big sent off the second rope out of the outside. A little is Viking. It's crazy. What has Venom got planned? I don't know. I mean, going I high, be going that high on that bad knee. Wow, we were on the same page on that one. Oh, big plot to the outside. What the heck? They are doing their standards to wear those men down. You don't think Rudolph's going to do it, do you? That, that oh, man is too big. Not. Looks like he's calling for it. I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. He's fired himself up for Making it. his battle cry. Wyatt's holding everyone in place. Oh, no. No, 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 don't do it! No! Oh! Why would you do that? Because he just hurt everyone in this match. Even his own partner. Whatever it takes, I guess. Now he just gets to pick one guy to just throw back in the ring, and he picks, he, of course, Story. He picks Story. Who I think is the legal man yet. I'm going to be honest, I lost track of who on earth is the legal man in this match. I, I do believe it's Story. I'm 100% I'm sure. But I'm 100% sure the referee lost count. Of course, Story again, but here comes Venom. And Venom, Venom with the save. the day. Oh. Big kick from Incredible docking down Alex Rudolph. Oh. Big knee to Frank Wyatt. Knocking to the outside. The little one's Viking. The little one's still up. Big he looked like he just got caught blow. with his hand in the cookie jar. Oh, oh, oh. Fall a man. No! Oh. Hangman's jawbreaker. Hey, he's feeding him into a right into a black through. hammer. Oh, nailing the black hammer. Turned him inside out. With the extra momentum from Venom. It's the most, it's the most vicious clothesline I've ever seen. And here Scott comes Story, Story going up high. Yeah, Kick from the keep it oh. oh, big. Oh my! Swanton bomb, and that's the that's what she wrote. 
What an incredible match. Here's your party, take the victory. And Scott Story, the beer drinking party. What an incredible match, baby. I'm going to the audience. Got to see my expectations. And Scott Story is the story here in this match to overcome what he overcame. And this And we're live, and here they come. Uh, the hooligans, we saw them last night just tear the, tear the little house down last night with the electric war party. Oh man, here they come. They won that right last night. It's going to be interesting to see how this one goes, Stephen. By the way, Stephen King here joining me because JJ has to attend to the business with his team. He'll be out here shortly. Probably had to attend not getting killed by the hooligans. Those men will kill JJ Cash. They've done worse, I'm sure. Now here comes trouble. Here comes those good old guns and beer. This is going to be redneck on redneck violence. Alcohol for the sake of alcohol. And here they come again. You see, uh, Goth there is still favoring the midsection from earlier tonight. I don't know where JJ gets off because these are his belts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't get the pin. I'm pretty sure he didn't earn them. Still in, he's incensed. Absolutely. Looks incensed, quite upset. His boys are putting the titles on the line for the second time tonight. Neither are at 100%, and the hooligans are lunatics. I, I, yes, that's a very brave on Benson Deer Park. They're just taking away the belts. And for the moment, those belts are out of the picture. This is about four men who want to fight. May the best team win, Stephen. May the best team win. Absolutely. Well, maybe not the best two men, but the best two wild beasts, the best two brawlers, the best two monsters, dare I say. Oh, yeah, I think the challengers are the qualified monsters. They appear as much. And we're underway. Absolutely. The Hooligans, championship. world traveled veterans, guns and beer, champions everywhere they have ever been. This should be an absolute masterpiece of destruction. Brainy champ, brainy tanking champions here in FLW for a little over five months, just shy of six months now. Absolutely. Guns and Beer have been fairly dominant, even when Bogot had to take a time of absence. 
still dominant because of the tricks and tactics of JJ Cash. I can never keep these two apart. I don't know what I remember the names individually. Actually, I, I think they both answer to each other's names. Very possible. Kick to the back, getting Goff attention. All around the clock here. Knee to the back of the head. Wrenching that neck, making a smart tag. Absolutely. Taking advantage of the disadvantage. Ball for the kick. Knocking it down. Got fighting back, trying to get off the ropes. Elbow to the face. Those are some mean chops, Steven. Absolutely. They're eating him up in the corner there. Very effective combination. Man. It's a heck of a use of a tag as well, tagging in and out, doing that violence party style strike series. Yes, yes, sir. Also Man. using full advantage of that five count. Yeah, you want to know how to take that five count and turn it into a 20 count? Tagging in and out while striking your opponent in the head. That, that is very smart, Steven. Absolutely stunning. Wow, one, two, only a two count. Not enough to keep Brian Gott down. With Bogot's ribs moved around inside him, that can't have felt good in the slightest. And his organs are already pretty messed up from the alcohol use. Right, not to mention what happened earlier tonight. Yeah, I dare say alcohol abuse, perhaps. I'm sure they just Huge slam on the ribs once again. And another moonsault, perhaps. Oh, and a corkscrew, even prettier. Right. With the assist, one, two. Not enough to keep Gott down. He's got that fighting spirit. Absolutely. Bogot, tough man, not willing to quit. Also, perhaps too drunk to quit. Very prideful as well. He's trying to keep his dignity intact here. Absolutely. Oh, my. That was right. lovely Coward from Bogot. back elbow. Almost a desperation maneuver, but it was effective and he's able to take out. Big undercut to the midsection. And another. And another. And using the beard there for leverage. Tremendous idea. And Bo got on the apron. Referee doing a great job of keeping the action separated here. Missing the assist from the corner of the big spear. One, two. Oh my. Close three. Close two or three. It was a heck of a suplex. That was. Duke Cornell, old school gut wrench style. You pick your opponent up and you throw him at the ground. Look at that. We're going to have a surfboard stretch here. Now trying to again move the ribs around on his opponent. And that drop kick didn't Looking hurt him. back and the drop kick helped as well. One, two. Still not enough to keep him down. Absolutely straight to the vertebrae. Got taking himself in. Going Great. for that double stomp headlock. Oh my. There it is. Cornell cranks in the chin lock and Bo Gott moves the spine around. We're gonna cut off the airway. Now a little bit of the old chokey choke. And he's lining him up. Here comes Cornell. Oh, oh my. Going for the pinfall. One. Two, and not, not quite enough to keep him down. Very resilient, these two are. Now, just trying to vice around the face and neck. And the strange thing about the beard and hair here, every time they try to move around in the hold, it's just ripping their skin off. Right. It's the one upside to Bogot's look there. There's not a whole lot to rip on besides that chin hair. Oh, case in point right there. All right, keeping him from the corner, keeping him from the tag. That's agony right there. That's amazing. It's a wise tactic. JJ cheering on his team. Big knee once again straight to the floating rim. Cornell knows exactly where to put his strikes. And it's 
scoop slam. Beautiful scoop slam. Great form. Oh, and a knee drop. Knee drop. Arn Anderson asks who. Yeah, very right. Shades of Arn Anderson there. And once again, that laying bear hug we saw last night. Trying to take away the air, trying to squeeze the ribs, trying to squeeze the diaphragm. You don't see a lot of submissions to bear hugs anymore, but I remember not too long ago, Barack Lesnar causing Hulk Hogan to bleed from the mouth on a SmackDown, probably about 2007, 2008. The legend literally almost killed by Barack Lesnar with a bear hug. How did that make you feel? There's a lot of things about Hulk Hogan that make me feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> and a huge double scoop huge slam. Double scoop slam. Again, that's that. Uh, Some smack talk. Genius maneuver here. Getting the opponents angry. It's causing been effective the whole match thus far. Absolutely. It gets them that One, extra few two. precious seconds to do dastardly deeds. Only a two count referee. A little bit ago telling him to get off the face. Mm. Smart move. Big slap. And a backhand slap. Breaking the eyes. Oh my, huge Down boot. Kick. Oh, oh my. man. Huge leaping jawbreaker stunner maneuver from the second rope all the way to the center. Them boys can fly. Fantastic agility from these, these two men. Absolutely outstanding. JJ looks a bit concerned here. That was a, a basically a short breath, and all of a sudden the tides turned. That's all it takes, Stephen. That's all it takes. And a hooligan's chant goes up. And the Taking tag. The both sides. Coming out swinging, going to pull by takedowns. Beautiful suplex. Great power. Oh. Oh, Big my. Big kick. Oh. Oh, oh my. my. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. He jumped so high up. I've never seen it done that way before. So the focus. The three got breaks up the count. Absolutely. I mean, the focus was the head on that tumbleweed. That's something I've never seen before. Great team maneuver. Oh, and the two scoops of doom. One, two. Oh, my. Breaking up the count. Great Almost three well. right Full there. So far. Absolutely. Kick to the midsection. Going for it. Oh, and a dastardly scoop slam there. Devastating. That was a powerful scoop slam, taking him down to a level to inflict more damage, it appears. And oh, a my. lovely lion salt. Goodness gracious. Again, you oh. see men this size doing those kind of things. One, two, got there to break it up again. These maneuvers are all beautiful and destructive. Big L in the corner, trading, exchanging balls in the little corner. Got biting the forehead as it appears. Cornell, big strike up top. Just setting up for a big maneuver here. Oh my, big moves here. In stereo, double deuces. I think we're about to see tag team action at its best, folks. Oh! oh. And I believe for Taft. Got got dropped on his head. Referee not sure what to do, so he takes it both. Goodness gracious. Two count on both counts, though. I suppose it was the best he could do with what he had. Absolutely. Hooligan fighting back. A series of chops. Cornell fighting back. And what is this? Oh! Wow! Tremendous running power slam cutter. Some kind of inverted and maneuver. Breaking up the pinfall again. These two men will not give up. They will not relent. They will not stop. Well, keep in mind, Guns and Beer have two tag team championships. He's hooking him up the here for the want two tag team championships. Absolutely. Backpack stunner here. This looks like bad Double news. Double stop. Oh, my. Very bad news for Bogot. One, two, JJ 
And J.J. Cash once again. Gott is out. Gott is out. Look at him. He was out for a count of at least six or seven seconds. J.J. missed ducking the punch. Oh, my. Once again, this looks awfully like familiar, doesn't it? Wait, what's he doing? Blatant interference from Bogot. Cash once again holding the foot. And Guns and Beer not wanting it to go Bogart that way. calling J.J. on his shenanigans. Oh, my. I never thought I would see the day. Them not wanting to use the assistance of the devious J.J. Cash. Oh, and now. Great counter knocking him off his base. And twin killer magic. Oh, oh my. my. One, two, three. three. There's the win. Hell of a they match, They retain their titles. JJ, it just, he is angry. I don't understand why he's so angry. They won. Oh, JJ going after his clients, physically assaulting them. This might seems not go well be, for JJ. Yeah, this seems to be a problem here. Oh, no! And that might be the tenure of JJ Cash, start to finish. <laughs> that could be it. Oh, dear. JJ's out. He's out for the count. They're asking for assistance for the Hooligans. And the assistant moves off. Oh, oh my. No! JJ Cash is done. That is what you call a dead dollar bill right there. JJ Cash. Oh, has God, just gone. going off the trash. Absolutely. Calling for her drink. Absolutely. What I was going to say was JJ Cash just went bankrupt, but that's just as I like well. that better. That's that was good. better. Yeah. You can have it. It's yours. Well, thank you. And they play the music and a gun salute. By guns, I mean beer. And by guns and beer, I mean the tag team champions. There you are. There's the reigning tag team champions. 